jelly. Oh. And there's some other ones too. Um, all right, so we're gonna learn technique a little bit, and then we're gonna learn the first rhythm. And um, the way that this, the way that this music is taught is that it's um, it's basically a lot of repetition and getting a, a, a good accompaniment pattern going on. And then over top of that, other accompaniment patterns are, are played and they fit together like a puzzle, right? And so I'll probably teach two rhythms and so we'll put them together. Teach you first rhythm, we'll all get it. Then I'll teach you the second rhythm and then we'll try to put them together. So it'll be technique and then we're gonna work on the rhythm. Sound good? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, and if, if at any time you have a question, just let one of us know and we'll come around and help you out. So part of my goal is to not only show you a rhythm to play or more than one, is to give you feel feeling comfortable on the drum in front of you, especially if you've never touched it before. Because this is a musical instrument that comes from um, Guinea, West Africa. It comes from a specific place in the world, and from that place, it has gone everywhere in the world. These instruments are played everywhere, and they're played differently everywhere. So I teach in the style of Guinea and Senegal and Mali. Um, these are the three countries that I've studied the music of in West Africa. And so Jelly himself is from Senegal, West Africa. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna learn from him in a little bit. Sound good? All right. So first, we're gonna learn how to play bass. Bass is often the easiest one. Um, so if you're right hand or left hand, it doesn't matter. So you, um, you have your hand, uh, not tense or also not too loose. You just drop it in the middle of the drum and let it bounce off. So everybody try with me. Good. Keep going. So as a groups always want to speed up. So try not to speed up. I even speed up sometimes when I'm with the group and I'm trying to talk at the same time. Good, keep going. Yep. A little bit louder. I can't hear you. There we go. Don't we'll speed up now. We'll do that, don't worry. Okay, good. everybody stop. Excellent. Any questions about the bass? Excellent. All right, so the next, the next sound we're gonna make is called the tone. Um, several ways to make the tone. Everybody's hand is different, so it falls on the drum slightly differently. Um, the way I do it is I have this part, um, this area, like the meaty part of my fingers, that is where the note comes from. So if you put your hand on a triangle on the edge of the drum like this, and you scoot your hands back a little bit to where the rim sits where your knuckles are right here, right? It sounds like this. So, same as bass, you just let your hand fall down and you let it bounce off naturally. Okay, great. Everybody stop. Excellent. Um, one thing I notice is some people have their drums flat on the ground like this, and it's going to change the way your drum sounds. So what you want to do is bring it closer to you and tilt it away as if you put a marble on the drum, it'll fall away from you, right? So well, you, you also, you don't want it to tilt towards you because it's going to be hard to make the notes. So yeah, away from you. Everybody looks pretty good, right? Okay, great. Any questions about tone? Okay, good. So we have bass and we have tone. Third, the, the third sound we're gonna learn is called slap. To, so to make the slap, again, there's many ways to get the slap sound, and it is the highest sound that we're learning. So to, if you put your hands where you made the tone, and you slide them into the drum a little bit, 
where you have these lines on your hand, sort of between your thumb and your knuckles right here. The rim of the drum can kind of fit snugly right in there. So that's where you want the rim to fit. So the motion is like this, if everybody wants to watch me. Your hand comes down and it hits the edge of the drum and your, your fingers kind of pop off a little bit. But you have air under here, right? This is what makes it different than the tone. So if everybody will just listen for a second, the slap sounds like this. So you have a tone and a slap. So everybody try slap with me. Good, alternate your hands if you want to. If you're right-handed, don't leave your left hand out. Your left hand wants to play too. Keep going. Yep, a little bit louder. Don't be afraid to hit, but don't hurt yourself. Don't stand up now. We're gonna do that, don't worry. Okay, good. Right stop. Great. Any questions about bass tone or slap? And Jill, you have any questions about bass tone or slap? <laughs> yeah. So this is the three sounds we're going to be working with. And when I explain to you how to play the rhythms, sometimes I'll say I'll use like a form of drum speak, which is like boom, bi di ba, boom, bi di ba, ba da ba, boom, boom, bi di bi di bi di bi, ba da ba. But sometimes I'll just say bass tone slap to make it a little easier. All right. So the first rhythm we're going to learn, I'll just play it for you and then I'll break it down. Two basses and some tones. If I try it. Excellent job. Any questions about that? So, a handy way to remember that, when I teach children, I often use words and sentences and use the rhythm of sentences um, to teach them the rhythm and then they're able to remember it. So, a common one for this one is boom, boom, tastes like chicken. Boom, boom, tastes like chicken. Boom, boom.
Awesome. So now, you, that's burned into your brain, right? You're not going to forget that when we come back around to playing this rhythm in a second. Right? Right. Right? Right. Okay, good. So, you guys got to give me a little more energy when I talk to you, right? Exactly. There's a lot of energy here at Shakori, right? I know we're learning here, but we also, we're going to be producing a lot of energy together here in a minute. Okay. So, some of you may have noticed what I did to stop that rhythm. I played something on my drum and we all stopped together. A few of us stopped together, right? Did anybody notice that? Right. So, in Jimbe music, we don't often use our voice to say like, five, six, seven, eight, go. We don't use our mouths or our language to do that. Well, we talk on the drum to do that, right? And so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a little phrase. I'm gonna show you a little phrase that we're gonna use to start, stop, or change something within the rhythm, okay? So you don't have to learn how to play it, but I want you to learn to recognize it when I play it, or when Jelly plays it, because he'll be playing it later. All right, so here's how it sounds, just listen. Right? So I'm gonna play that, and I want everybody to answer me with a bass. Boom! All right, so try it. Together, right? Together. Good. What if I do this? A lot of times the slow one is the hardest. <laughs> okay, good. So you guys can hear that, right? All right. I feel confident. I feel confident in you. So here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to play the call, which is what you just heard. And we're going to start boom, 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 tastes like chicken. All right? And we're going to keep that going until you hear me play the call again. Boom. And we're all going to stop together with the bass. All right? Can we do that? Yeah, yeah. Am I going too fast? It's too hard. No. Should I jump it down a little bit? No. <laughs> okay, good. All right, here we go. Ready? a kind of a complicated musical piece right there. Now I'll tell you, you mess up a little bit during the piece, but if you stop at the right time, nobody notices. So that was awesome. I didn't notice anything. All right, so we have, we have a break. We have rhythm number two. We have rhythm number one. <laughs> Are you ready for rhythm number two? All right, rhythm number two sounds like this.
Good job. Who heard me play the call at the end? Excellent. Awesome. So, <clears throat> so we have rhythm one, rhythm two. Any questions about rhythm two? No questions. Somebody has to have a question. Oh yeah, I don't have a good word for that one actually. Who's got one? If anybody's got one, be, be my guest to share it. Or come up with your own, in your own head, something you can remember. So, right. So, this rhythm number two we just learned, it fits together in a very precise way with rhythm number one. So, let's remember rhythm number one. So now we're gonna put them together and speed it up a little bit because this rhythm is not played at this speed ever, except in America. So when you go to West Africa and they play this rhythm, this rhythm is called Kuku. This rhythm is so fast, you can't even hear it. It's so fast, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. So, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna divide the room up into two. Let's see. Um, if I draw an imaginary line between you two right here, this is about halfway, right? So, um, what's your name in the pink shirt? One more time. Maria? So you are group one. Everybody here, you guys are group one. And over here, everybody else is, you guys are group A. Group one, group A. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna play a call, and group one, we'll get you guys going first with boom, boom, tastes like chicken. If you're vegan, it can be boom, boom, tastes like lettuce. Boom, boom, tastes like whatever you want. Boom, boom, tastes like jelly. All right, so once you guys are going, I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna get group A going with rhythm number two. Boom, piti, pa, boom, piti, pa. And at that moment, we're gonna have an amazing polyrhythm going on, right? So this music is polyrhythmic. That means it has a lot of rhythms, more than one rhythm going on at once that fit together in a very specific way, right? So we've also got these drums over here, right? Who's been watching Jelly play these drums? Everybody. <laughs> so these drums are called dunduns. Dunu, also. Um, some people call them junjuns. It's, they're all names for the same instrument. And these are double-headed drums that are played with a stick and they have cow skin on them, right? So if you played this drum right here with the stick, it would break the head. This is a goat skin. These are mostly goat skins. There's a couple plastic. But they're, they're much thinner than, than uh, cow skin. So these are made to be beat on with a stick really hard. And they are laying down the backbeat for what we're doing, right? And so when you get into more advanced levels of this music, you learn how your part relates to this part, right? Boom, boom, tastes like chicken. You know where it fits with the dun dun, right? So it forms as, it's like the drum set in a rock band. Some people can relate to that analogy, right? So Jelly's the, Jelly's the drum set player right here for us, keeping us uh, together. All right, um, but don't let him throw you off because he kind of does some crazy stuff sometimes. All right, everybody ready? So I'm gonna start you guys off with Boom, boom, tastes like chicken. All right, you guys hold on for a second. Your, your job is about to come. Ready? Keep going, don't change anything. Don't let these guys throw you off, all right? All right, group A, you ready? Mm -hmm. 
and remember your rhythm? Sounds like this. But don't start yet. I'm gonna play you a break to start. Ready? So we're gonna do uh, this one more time, except we're gonna flip the rhythms. Over here is gonna be boom, bidi ba, boom, bidi ba. Over here is gonna be boom, boom, bete bete, boom, boom, bete bete. Okay? So it's a little faster than we initially learned it. We're speeding up a little bit, and we, once we get it going good, like we just did, we're gonna speed it up even more, right? Sound good? Yeah. All right. Okay. So we're gonna start you first this time. So you guys sit, sit tight over here, right? Ready? You guys ready? 